Hello from quarantine. <laughs> oh god, that's uh sound really <laughs>
And so I had just gotten paid and turns out the monitor stand that I wanted, well, it actually wasn't originally the one I wanted. This is a different from a different brand. They were having a flash sale on this one. It's on the floor. That's why I'm pointing to it. They had a flash sale on this brand. And I think for the other one, I was originally going to be paying like 40 bucks. This one was $5 cheaper and they were having a flash sale on it for $25 basically on Amazon. And I was like, I'm not supposed to get it till next week. Oh, I know what it was. I was holding off until I took care of my car. <laughs> That's why I was waiting. I was holding off until I took care of my car. My tax returns, I think had just like my federal and my uh, state had just came and I didn't want to spend it until after I took care of my car. But then, you know, the, the Amazon flash sale, and I was like, fuck. So <laughs> I went ahead and I was like, you know, the flash sale is not going to last, but for only a few hours, it's not going to happen again next week. You might as well just buy it now while you still can, or else you're going to kick yourself in the pants. So that's what I did. Now my monitor, I bought it over the Christmas holiday. And then at that time, it's originally priced like, $140 and at the time that I bought it it was $130 so like $10 cheaper and I went back on Amazon and I was like oh yeah they have it for $10 cheaper I'm ready to buy it the price went back up <laughs> to its original price I'm like fuck so but now I'm glad I didn't buy it because I ended up um I ended up getting an overdrawn at some point and for like this month my money ended up falling kind of short so I probably would have ended up with an overdrawn again so I was like I'm really really glad I did not go ahead and buy the monitor and the other reason why too is not just because I was taking care of my car but I also launched finally launched my k-pop block this month it's something that I've been working on. I had been thinking about trying to look for like another uh, something, you know, at, you know, work from home type of job. So that's basically what I did like all December. And I was like, okay, like I'm gonna start in January. But then when January came, I found out some more information that I needed to know for you know legal stuff for the blog and so that set me back another two months I'm like oh that's just great so I had to wait till last week to do what I needed to do and then finally launch my blog so I just used like the last few months the last two months I should say and a half to finish getting the blog ready get the blog post going and everything like that so if you're a new k-pop fan hell if you're like a you know uh <laughs> a seasoned k-pop fan like me i've been i've been a k-pop fan for eight years but if you're a new k-pop fan or if you're just curious about k-pop or something and you would like to check out my blog i'll leave a link in the description down below it's angeltalkskpop.com um i share also my experiences some of my personal experiences and thoughts and opinions and stuff like that and feelings um in in k-pop being a k-pop fan and also uh educate the newer fans and or just those who are just curious about the k-pop culture so um <clears throat> i'm really excited uh it's it's going slowly but surely we're just on like i really didn't get the whole thing really off the ground till Friday um I just used the entire week just to kind of get things get things rolling so I really didn't get anything off the ground till Friday and I'm currently promoting it and if you like to follow me on social media I do have Twitter I have Facebook Instagram Pinterest all at Angel Talks K-pop so if you would like to follow me on social media and check out some blog posts that I have posted um, through there, you know, if you want to stay up to date with the blog, please, by all means, would would definitely appreciate that. So 
Um, <clears throat> so that's two things. And then I think last month I told you guys, probably in the last my last video maybe, um, or a video before that, I don't know. But I told you guys that I had to get, I was diagnosed with uh, anemia. And I think I also told you guys I had to get a blood transfusion. Well, uh, I had, she, uh, they, my primary doctor, my regular doctor, wanted me to get referred to the cardiologist for a heart monitor because of some of the sim symptoms that I was experiencing. Wanted to check and make sure that everything is going okay. Um, and just to let y'all know, like a month, it's been a month already since my blood transfusion and I'm still doing really well. Um, but she wanted me to get the heart monitor and make sure I'm doing okay. So now I'm stuck with that for two weeks. Today is a week. And honey, let me tell you, like, <laughs> I, I have not been able to take a proper shower <laughs> until this morning. <laughs> and the amount of dry skin, oh my God, let me tell you, the amount of dry skin that accumulated on my body was just like, ew. Um, I hadn't been able to take a proper shower in about a week and I even washed my hair too. Then my beautician calls me this afternoon and she's like, oh, um, I'm here till five o'clock. If you want to come by or if you just want to wait, cause I'm due for a perm, not this weekend, but next weekend, the weekend after. And of course now we're on uh, a stay at home lockdown <laughs> uh, situation here in our state. So, and that, that starts at, at five, which is in like six minutes. But yeah, so, um, or eight minutes, I'm sorry, not six minutes, eight minutes. So yeah, she was like, I'm here till five. And I'm like, I already washed my hair this morning. And she's like, oh, oh well. <laughs> so, so I was like, damn, like she had the hookup till five. Could have had my hair squared away for the next month, really. I wouldn't have to wash my hair for about a month. I actually have gone an entire month without washing my hair. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm on this, it's called a halter monitor. I'm on this halter monitor till next Monday. Thank God, I can't wait till then rip this thing off and it's like um it's wireless it's this one is without the leads so no wires and it's connected through bluetooth on a smartphone advancements in technology what can i say i mean hey <laughs> i ain't mad at it so um and it's stuck to uh an adhesive well i clip it in to um a little micro USB port, which is glued on to an adhesive strip that goes on my body. And when I tell you to take that thing off, hurt. Oh my God, I came to peel it off and there's already, it's adhesive, but then you swear there's like little adhesive tabs also on like three, points, different points of the strip. Oh my God, talk about her. I had like a whole red mark and then I broke out. <laughs> I think I had like two acne bumps on either side of where the monitor was placed, but I had to replace it because it was time to take that one off and replace it with the new strip for this week. So now I'm not going to be able to have a proper shower again until next Monday. And then I'll be able to take proper baths after that. <laughs> but yeah, so um, they told me that I could shower with it, that it is waterproof and that I could just take out the monitor, like unplug the monitor and pause my uh, monitoring session on the phone. But I was like, my mom was like, what's the point? If it's electronic, what if the water goes inside? If you unplug it, I'm like, you're right. So I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to take bird baths. And then when it's time for me to change it out, I'll just take the damn thing off. <laughs> and then I'll just take it off and take a shower then and we'll be good to go. So 
yeah y'all wish me luck on that but tomorrow is my follow-up appointment like by the time you guys see this so already right, have been wednesday but tomorrow's my follow-up appointment with my regular doctor which last week they she wanted me to get some more blood work done before i went in to see her so i did that last week and she wanted to follow up with me like post my transfusion and everything so we're gonna see the results of that like you know what's what's what now what's the next step and then um if everything goes okay with my monitoring which you know my doctor's probably gonna see some things because anxiety and i'll have to explain like look you know i i do have anxiety disorder so yeah i do get kind of like <sighs> like tends to pulse tends to <laughs> pulse tends to go up a little high there <laughs> from time to time so if everything goes okay with that i might not need any more treatment in terms of the cardiology side which will be good <laughs> so but yeah um hoping everything else turns out okay and i don't need anything else to be done and the transfusion should I take care of taking care of everything which I mean like I said I haven't been having any more symptoms since then but yeah so anyways I'm not able to record any videos right now except like this you know here on my webcam because like I said I can't see and I don't know I think maybe by next week I might be able to get my monitor I'll see though and the reason why I say I'll see is because medical bills. <laughs> Your girl got medical bills now. Uh. But yeah, if you're new here, uh, please feel free to take a look around on the channel. I have some pretty cool content here. Speed builds. If you're in a speed build kick, please, by all means, go check out my speed builds. Um, whatever you want to do. I'm hoping to be back by, with all about the Aldridge's soon i was supposed to be back with all about the altar just this month like i keep thinking about gina's wedding gina's wedding gina's wedding and i want to play with that family so bad and i'm like no because i have a series like i can't do anything why would i want to play all about the altar why 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 but anyways guys please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel I hope to God I'll be back next week with a second monitor and maybe I'll kind of show you guys my new setup after that. I'll probably fix all of this because I have wires on my desk. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have a great day wherever you may be. Please be sure to be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. If you have loved ones who are very susceptible to what is going on, just pay attention to the news and everything. Make sure that um, you take all the necessary precautions and just stay safe out there. And, uh, I hope to see you guys soon in another video. Bye guys.